countdown to the finals. Candace and Anthony have clicked on stage, but how well do they really know each other? What is Anthony's middle name? <gasps> no! <laughs> You're not going yes, there. Yes, we are. <laughs> what is Anthony's middle name? Spiridophilus? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to this It Takes Two special where we get up close and very personal with our remaining celebrity couples as we count down to the finals. Iron Woman Candace has been competing at an elite level for more than a decade. No stranger to tough training. She is one of the best on the It Takes Two Pro team in Anthony Kalia. Ah, uh, suddenly I see a singer. Fantastic. <laughs> really well done. But it takes more than just singing to make it in Team Kalia and week by week, Candace has grown not just in vocal ability, but total stage performance. And the judges have been supportive. Really fabulous, lots of fun, loved it. It's a winning formula. I love that. That was oh. fantastic. It's coming out sweeter every week, good on you. And a position in the bottom two only made them come back stronger. Candace and Anthony. Hello, kids. <laughs> great to have you on board. Hi, Dad. The great thing about you <laughs> is that you don't just come on stage in this little stage and sing every Tuesday night. You, you, you've, you've got... It's a major performance. There's always kids and dancers and smoke machines and ice and acting and, and jumping off desks. It's, yeah. it's a major performance. Did you, did you realise that you were signing up for more than just singing when you said yes? I didn't realise it, but I hoped that I... I hoped that. Um, I really enjoy doing all the, the dancing and the, the acting. It's, I'm really having a great time and thanks to Anthony, he's doing a good job with me. Because last week was a perfect example. Um, it was a pretty full on affair. She's got the look, she's got the look, she's got the look, she's got the look. What in the world can make a bride go to you know, each person is completely different, but I think the more the more things I give Candace to think about, the easier it is for her to do because she's not concentrating on one thing and not stressing herself out about it. Kind of re reverse psychology. Yeah. A little bit. Maybe I'm just a bit talented. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sister. No, you, you need sure are. Are. No. <laughs> um, look, It scored really well with the judges last week's performance, but let's yeah. take a look now at your series scoreboard. Okay, it was a soft start for you. You can see the rank, the column on the right, 8th, 7th, 6th. You're going up each week, but yeah. people are also dropping out of the competition. <laughs> but third, <laughs> look at that. Last I know. week you created it with a 33. Yeah, I was extremely surprised with that score. I wanted a good score. I wanted a few more eights than I did the previous week, but to get a nine off Danny was... Bring back Danny. Bring honestly. back Danny. You know, I was so happy with that. I was over the moon. Week two was your toughest though, Anthony, um, he, he gave you a great big song, a big production number to try and tackle and uh, it, was, it was mixed results for you, it was tough work along the way, this will give you a bit of an idea of what it was like back then. Anthony is being so bossy, this is so hard and it's so mean that he's making me do this because it sounds like rubbish, <laughs> off him right now. The thing is if you start flat, the whole thing is going to be flat. <laughs> While I'm down there now, I'll just sing it softly in my mic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> when you're not a singer and you've got to sing stuff like that and it sounds like absolute poo, um, <laughs> it's horrible. It's, I'm off key and it's hard and why can't he just do it? He's a singer. Why can't he do it? But okay, I'm off him right now. But you know, who cares? It's hey. a bit of fun. Oh, well. And here's the performance. It was a great moment, and it has to be said that Anthony, that you really believed in her for this performance. Maybe while the rest of us yeah, weren't quite sure. Yeah, but how mean was she, was she behind off. my back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't seen that? No. no. It's only because I was so bad, like in rehearsals, and I couldn't get the dance moves. You can do it on your own from now on. No, I was. <laughs> sound, he sounded fantastic. I was the one that sounded dodgy. <laughs> was it a tanty? Did we see? No. From yeah. It's so. No. She it had wasn't. a diva spit. No. <laughs> in week wasn't. two. It was. 
<laughs> and she kicked me behind my back. I didn't even see that walking off the stage. It wasn't. It, no. <laughs> well, the good news was that from there, the surprises just kept on coming. <laughs> I must admit, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> uh, I can't talk. Um, I'm confused. I don't know how you're feeling at the moment, Anthony. <laughs> That's up there for a serious yeah. moment, all right. See, you've got to laugh. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Um, not afraid to push the limits. Not at all. Limits are meant to be pushed. Rules are meant to be broken. And, and Yeah, I think yeah. We, lo we like doing things that are a bit surprising each week, and I think that... We're, we're achieving that. You've just come off your, your highest score um, in, in the competition so far last week. What qualities does she have that you've identified that could take her all the way to the end? She wants to keep pushing herself and, you know, I'm really proud of what she's achieved so far because five, six weeks ago, she, when we, was, we started out, she didn't even know what flat and sharp meant. I'm there going, you're singing that flat. She's there going, what's that mean? <laughs> and I'm there going, okay, we really need to start from there. I thought like a knife, flat knife, sharp knife, I don't know. Were you that raw? Yeah. She's that raw. Well, and so to come. see her get up there and sing virtually in tune every, you know, Tuesday night with a virtually. <laughs> no, obviously, you know, she's not going to be perfect, but, you know, it's, it's a great performance. She's not only just sing, standing there and singing, she's putting on a show and she's entertaining, and that's sometimes more important than the singing. Well, as we get to, to know more about you, what is one of the great misconceptions about Candace Fowles on The Iron Woman? Oh, I guess that I'm a bit of a party animal and stuff like that, when in fact I'm, I'm not. I'm just the average... A I'm a nana. I'm an average girl <laughs> next door, um, you know, just a real, I guess, tomboy, all that kind of stuff. You know, we've kicked a football out on the street a few times and, you know, with everyone. So I'm just really just a knock-around girl. This is me, this is who I am, and um, I think slowly people are starting to see that, so it's good. Thanks for turning on a great show each and every week. Good luck to the run to the grand final. Thank you very much. <laughs> Happen to me right in front of my face, my feelings can't describe.